Today, I'm going to reply to a viewer's comment. His name is Angel Black. He has an Audi A4 and he needs some help attaching the wire to his camera. He's having some trouble locating which wire it actually is. So he's saying it's because his Audi has so many different colors on the tail light and he doesn't know how to discern one from the other. So I'm going to show you real easy, Angel, how you can get around this. So stick around. I'm going to show you how I do it. The very first thing we're going to do is remove this light housing. On the back of yours, of course, they're all different. Since you have an Audi, most cars are like this. So they just have these spin-off plastic clips. Usually you're going to find two, three, sometimes four of them. Just back all those out, wherever they might be. That'll expose your light. Just gently pry it out. And if it sticks, you might want to just use a plastic pry tool, which I don't have one here. But you know, don't use anything metallic to scratch your paint finish ever. So, in your car, you you said that you had an Audi and you had multiple wires for your reverse light. You don't know which wire it is that you need to tap onto for your camera, right? Okay. So, what I would do is I would suggest either having yourself or a friend. Turn on your lights so you can determine what's your running lights, where's your parking lights, your blinker, and your reverse light. This car here, I know that this is my reverse light. So I'm going to have someone else go up there and test it by turning the ignition on and obviously cycling, cycling the car, turning the car on and putting the vehicle into reverse gear just to confirm that this here is my reverse gear light. So you can all see my reverse light is on. So if you're doing this by yourself, just as a safety precaution, put your emergency brake on, put it into neutral, then switch it into reverse gear, verify your lighter's on. We can clearly see that the reverse light is here on the reverse side of the light housing. This is it right here. There's your target. Now you see, instead of having multiple wires, all you have is two. So this is how we test these wires at this point on. Now here's my reverse light. Now I got a couple tools. This is what a lot of do-it-yourselfer kind of people have. These, this is really like probably the worst test light that's ever been made. This thing is just grounded so that way when you probe the wire that's going to throw a voltage, it's going to throw off a red light. Like so. And then your other one is going to be ground. Now I don't obviously use tools like that and I would suggest that you invest in something a little bit better than that. That's actually my, my worst case scenario if everything else breaks light, test light. This is my normal test light. It actually has the capability of testing negative and positive. So it'll tell me the rest voltage and also the active voltage. The light circuit active, I can verify this here is going to be my ground. course can't have ground circuit without a positive circuit now here's a little note about reverse lights if you're testing this with the circuit off you're going to actually test and, and these both wires are going to rest at ground and I'll show you that right now the car is in park I'm going back to those same two wires black is my ground it's resting at ground and so is the white so when you switch this wire into reverse gear, this wire is going to go from resting at ground because it's getting ground from the filament feedback from the negative side. But when you put the car into gear, this wire is going to go to 12 volts. You're going to have ground, you have a light circuit, of course. So that's basically all there is to it, to checking out your reverse light signal. Basically, pull your light out, like I showed, um, verify which light it is, have yourself or a helper put the car into reverse gear, test your leads out, make sure you're on it. There's always going to be two wires going to any reverse light. There's never any more. There's never three, four. In some scenarios, you might find lighting cir circuits where there's a board. But on the output side of the board, you're always going to have two wires that is going to be your reverse light. And that's the only two you need to connect to. Your reverse, ligger, uh, reverse light trigger wire. Just grab it onto here, loom it, run it through, and connect it to your camera wherever you're going. Put it all back together and just put it back in reverse of how you took it apart.